Arcturus vaccine is very underwhelming, causing a huge crash in the stock. Hello everyone, CapM here, and in this video we're going to talk about the bad news coming out of Arcturus Therapeutics and give an update on their plans moving forward. So today we're seeing a huge crash in Arcturus Therapeutics stock at around 60% at the low of the day. Now this all came from the response from investors towards the results of their phase 1 slash 2 trial for its Roni vaccine called ARCT021, in which a few analysts decided to downgrade the stock after they thought the results were disappointing. Now the reason the results from Monday's phase 1 data weren't perceived well by the market was because of the levels of antibodies generated by ARCT021 and their messenger RNA technology, which is similar to the technology used by Moderna and Pfizer. The company was portraying their formula as a standout performer, considering they said it would provide immunity after one dose. But contrary to that perception, we see that after the first of the two shots in the phase one trial, antibody levels were only comparable to the levels seen in patients who have recovered from the disease. The second booster shot taken in the trial only had a minimal improvement according to Guggenheim analyst Seamus Fernandez. He also notes that the other rival vaccines, such as Novavax's, generated much higher levels of antibodies after two shots. He maintains his buy rating, but also states that unless they can prove a single dose of ARC-021 is superior, then they might not be able to be a viable competitor. And when looking at their competitors, we see that other companies and their formula exhibited 90% efficacy, while Arcturus's only had an efficacy level of about 62%. It's important to note this because it wasn't as strong as other competitors in the market, and the market will keep on asking questions and pricing into the stock the level of strength of Arc 021, potentially creating more negative pressure until Phase 3 data can be produced. Now the good thing is that the company did announce that it has received approval from the Singapore Health Sciences Authority to go ahead with their phase 2 trial study of their formula, where they will test it on up to 600 volunteers. There is a longer time frame on this vaccine considering they will generate phase 2 results in early 2021, and they would start a phase 3 study in the second quarter of 2021. So we do see that Arcturus is still moving forward with their trials to gain more results, which is a good thing. Now it is concerning that comparably to others, their formula might not be as strong, but it can still be applied later on since there is a huge demand for this type of treatment. We know that there is still a shortage of the treatment even though they just started rolling them out from Moderna and Pfizer, which can be promising for Arcturus in the midterm as they continue to develop their own version. And another key component to look at in the near term is how Kathy Wood reacts to this because she has around 6-7% of her ARC Genomic Revolution portfolio invested in this company as well. So if she does decide to add more shares in the near term, now that the stock is at more of a discount, that can be a bullish sign for the future of their research. Drop a like as if you're enjoying the video and let's get into the stock charts. So guys, getting into the chart of Arcturus Therapeutics, we do know that these biotech stocks are very volatile and tend to overreact when we do see new trial data come forth with projects that they have been working with. So we do know that this is very negative news and this is kind of why we did see the 54% decline in the stock. But we do see that since March of last year, it has been in a positive uptrend and kind of consolidating for a few months before breaking out in the mid-November region. Now. During the mid-November time, we did have this huge run-up in the stock to around the $130 mark, but ever since we have been dropping and not getting supported. What I do see over here is that we are around the 200 simple and exponential daily moving averages. Now, we are currently breaking under it, and we can close under it if we do continue this trend. So, what we do kind of want to see here in order to be more bullish in the stock and to see if investors do start buying it up is for this level over here to kind of rebound in the short term leading up to the close of the end of this week or even heading into tomorrow. So we do want to see a huge rebound of this stock to above this level at the 200 simple and 200 exponential daily moving averages. And that can signify more investors coming in and buying up the stock to potentially even close a portion of this gap. Right now it is risky to get into the stock and kind of buy when we don't really have a clear consolidated region where we do see a level of support. But it is important to know we are testing these regions over here that did act as a decent buy level in the past. Now that doesn't mean that past performance is indicative of future performance, but it is important to note that many investors did come in and buy up the stock at these regions. 
Now, if we go to the weekly chart, we can see a clearer picture. And what are we seeing right now? Well, we do see that even here when we did have this 25% drop in the stock, we did get supported by the 50 exponential weekly moving average. Now, I'm not saying that necessarily has to happen right now, but it is a possibility considering that we are retesting to a more conservative region on the chart. Remember, we were overextended during this period, and it is normal for the stock to retrace back to the 20 and 50 exponential weekly moving averages in the midterm. So we did see that after the huge pop-off. The key levels that I would be looking at for the chart if we do see a further decline in the stock would be this key region over here, where we did see many investors again come in and buy up the stock and use this level as a support region. So really it's gonna come down to this region over here. Now we can even put a box here to kind of create a support region where if we do see the price trend to around the $35 mark all the way to around the 30 to 20, high 29 region, we can see this region coming as a decent level of support considering the 200 exponential moving average is leading up to this region. So this can be a level where investors also come in and buy. Now, the one point that I wanna make about this region is if the weekly chart does happen to come and close under this level, it would be a region where we never really closed before during this huge run up. So please be careful of this area, guys. If we do start breaking and closing under this region, creating a lower low comparative to this one over here, that can be a decent turning point in the stock and it can potentially be a show for more bearish price action heading into the near to midterm future for this stock. So if we do start closing in this region, guys, there is a possibility we trend back to kind of the $19 to $20 region. Remember, nothing's impossible for these biotech stocks. We have seen huge 70 to 80% moves to the upside and to the downside, right? So just be wary of this region, guys. We can't see many investors come in and buy up the stock from this area over here to get supported by the 200 exponential moving average and this previous region, which was a reversal point on the chart. But if we do start closing under this area, there isn't much support until, of course, this $17 to $18 mark. And if we did take a trade in this area, guys, you guys see if you start laddering in buys, it can have a 10 to 15% risk profile. But we do have a lot of room to move to the upside if investors do start buying the stock at that region. But remember, a break and a close under this level is going to be pretty bearish. And I do think we can trend lower in the stock. So guys, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you're doing with Arcturus Therapeutics. And get four free stocks when you use the link in the description below. And sign up for Webull. The deal expires soon. Thank you guys for watching and have a great one.